I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Janet Hickox. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am magnificently doing well and wonderful. Oh, it's a great pleasure to connect with you, Janet. Uh, what part of the world are you in right now? I am in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Washington State. All right, all right. And which of your talents is responsible for us connecting? Well, I'm guessing uh, because I'm an astrologer, I have a radio show, and I think that must be how we connected yeah. through the radio, yeah. through Living our Living astrology, podcast. right? Living astrology. Correct. Yeah, there we yes. go. There we go. Yeah, it was the podcasting side of what you do. Um, who did you learn the skill of astrology from? Well, that's an interesting question, Angel, because I actually sort of remembered astrology. There, It, it was sort of revealed to me. And I know this always sounds so weird to those people who are very left-brained, but uh, I... Uh, we received a book from my son, and that book happened to be an astrology book, although I had no idea about that at the time. And that book literally traveled around my house until I finally looked at it. And I swear, in the opening of the book and reading it, uh, a, a whole part of myself that remained hidden from me was suddenly revealed. And of course, I'd done study and so forth since that time, but it's interesting to uh, sort of find out that you have all of this knowledge that you didn't really know you had. Oh, that's intriguing. That's intriguing. So how many years are we speaking about since that time of opening that book? Oh, gosh, that was in the year 2000. So oh. 17 years ago. Wow. Oh, how time flies, right? Indeed. Yes. And mm -hmm. it's been quite the adventure. And I've loved every minute of it. Uh, particularly because it allows me the uh, honor of helping other people find what their path forward in life is and what they're passionate about. And where's the best place to connect with you for someone that's intrigued by what you do? Most likely my website, and that is the living-astrology.com. And on that site, they can get some free charts. They can connect with me uh, for a reading or a coaching or a consult. And, um, you know, from there, I'm also on Facebook. I have a Living Astrology Facebook page. And uh, also listening to my shows on Thursday afternoons at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah. Shout out to your co-host, right? Jason, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Jason. Jason, probably the most interesting man to have entered into my life since my husband entered into my life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from the artwork, he does look very intriguing. Um, yeah, he looks intriguing. <laughs> he, he has that look, character. right? Yeah, yes, yeah, he has yeah. that look. He he was a model. He sings opera. Uh, he does interior design. He is very psychic. Uh, and we have a great time together because he is so opposite of me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they just say opposites attract or perhaps it's a balancing thing. But uh, uh, we work well together. But Janet, please do tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years. Sure. Um, I began a process actually in 2012, and I've been working on it consistently since then, of deconditioning my mind so that I could live my life authentically. And still working on that one, still in process, but it is a very rewarding process indeed. How does it make you feel? Uh, it definitely makes me feel empowered that I'm living my life on my terms and living it true to me and not living it based on some conditioned idea of who I should be or what I should be doing. Hmm. Why would you suggest mm -hmm. someone that's listening do that? Wow. What a loaded question, right? <laughs> I mean, for one thing, it sounds like it would be a very self-centered um a thing for people to do, but I'm of the mind that if you empower yourself and you learn to live your life authentically, that then that sort of ripples outward to others in your life and allows them to become enlightened and live their life on their own terms. So I think it's an important thing for you to do, not only for yourself, but for the people that you come in contact with. Hmm. 
beautifully said. Ah. Well, amazing audience. We are live with Jana Hickox. You could definitely check her out. She is the podcast host of Living Astrology. Uh, Janet, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine. That is surrounded right. with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Janet, what is your earliest childhood memory? Well, I'm probably one of those rare individuals that actually has a memory of being three years old. In fact, I had only been three, oh, it was in July, I turned three in June, so maybe 10 days. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was coming to a house where I was going to be living. It was going to be my new foster home. And uh, my mother had had a terrible stroke and wasn't able to take care of us anymore, myself and my little sister. And I remember holding my uh, social worker's hand and standing scared to death on this front porch, but so excited because this was something new. And there was a dog that was barking and I was scared of the dog, but I wanted to play with the dog. It was an exciting but yet scary sort of experience. And I remember that day like it was yesterday. Wow. So why do you think yeah. it's so clear, Janet? Well, I'm pretty sure it's because it had a big impact on my life. I mean, at that point, you know, three, it, it's kind of interesting because the level of consciousness at age three isn't what it is now. Certainly, it would be a bigger um, problem for me as an older person, I think. But at three years old, it was full of wonder and excitement and what's going on. And my curiosity was piqued. And um, I, I it had the feeling at even at three years old that this was going to be a big impact in my life. Hmm. That's intriguing. Well, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what kind of kind of offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Sure. I just love the idea of how you bounce between emotions uh, before you do the thing that you th that connects with you. Then, um, so you know, and it's amazing how people carry you to things. Uh, and so the social worker is carrying you to the next step. And your son did that as well, right? But it's intriguing how you bounce around. You know what? It's uh, what it's what it what describes it uh, best for me. There's one guy that told me that he procrastinates on purpose, and it it just it's just fascinating how it feels <laughs> like that. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. You, that you you're being strategic with your procrastination, and uh, just like the other left brainers, as you said, I hope that is understandable. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> if Oddly we, enough. <laughs> <laughs> if we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? Do you know, I actually had to look this up because I couldn't remember. I mean, geez, Louise, that was a while back. <laughs> um, but as soon as I looked up the songs for 1973, which is when I would have been 12, it stuck out like glue. There was... The Crocodile Rock by Elton John and tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree, which was, I mean, I used to skate to that song. It was uh, a wonderful song. I can't even remember. Tony Orlando and Don sang wow. that song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a great song. Yeah. It's fascinating how things connect, right? Uh, and, yeah, uh, yes, even, yeah. Even the fact that you're, you're, you're podcasting now and it's a duo, right? And um, that really gets you going, right? <laughs> where, it's, yes, yes. Where, where it's you and um, Jason, right? Uh, <laughs> right. It's <laughs> just amazing how things connect. Yes, yes. Yep. All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Janet? Thanks. Janet, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Not yet. Are you married? I am, yes, for 35 years. Wow. Give us a secret, please. Uh, understanding and L-O-V-E, love. Mm, love it, love it, love it. All right, so yes. do you have children? I have four grown children, eight grandkids, and one on the way. Wow, congratulations. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. Do you believe in God? Absolutely. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes, I do. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Oh, yes, I do. It is totally my <laughs> escape at the end of the day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes, uh -huh. I do. <laughs> what, <laughs> what about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Uh, probably at least eight, if not more. I mean, my whole business is run on the computer, basically, okay. right. or the phone. 
All right. Well, after a thousand and one conversations in three months, I came up with a reflective self-discovery workbook called Yours. It stands for your own unique real self. The idea being you answer questions that help you to um, uncover your mission, which I like to call your own unique real statement. Uh, if you had to share with us, Janet, your own unique real statement, the statement that represents who you are, what would you say that is? I would say know thyself and live a life rich in personal authenticity. Love it. Janet, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I would just love to share love and blessings and peace and my wish that they will be prosperous a hundredfold, a thousandfold. A thousand million <laughs> billion. Love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Janet, this was a great pleasure. Thank you, my friend, for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, a focus on diabetes, and the ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.